So what is your Canadian story? Joining us now in studio is the CBC's Brenda Murray. She's a senior producer in charge of news gathering and will help explain for all of us how we can all get involved in this. So Brenda, let's begin with what exactly you're looking for. Natasha, we're looking for personal stories. That's the key, personal stories about how Canadians define Canada. Maybe it's an object that was passed down through your family through the years. Maybe it's somebody who's inspired you. Doesn't need to be a famous Canadian either. An event that really struck you, struck home. It could be in history, could be something within your lifetime for certain. Or a place that you just love. You've been to many times. You can't believe how gorgeous it is. Gosh knows there's no end of list for that. But I also want to stress that it doesn't have to be a happy story because Canada story uh, does have some dark chapters, so we want to make sure we can get all of that in. Okay, so let's say loads of people want to get involved. They've got that personal story, that personal objects, happy or sad, whatever it may be. How do they get it to you? Okay, great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm going to look down on my piece of paper because I don't want to get this wrong. Email us. That's the best thing. CBC News 2017 at cbc.ca. Oh, good. I see it at the bottom of the screen there. <laughs> it could be pieces, text pieces, or video or photographs, we love all of that. In fact, I've already received a fair number today, so I'm very excited about it. Um, and don't worry about the length. Um, we don't mind if it's long. I keep telling people, like they say in Newfoundland, we want yarns. We want yarn, personal stories, yarns about your family, you, whatever strikes you about how you define Canada. Okay, so you get these personal stories, what are you gonna do with them? Well, our plan is to, of course, read them, them all, enjoy them all, and then next year, starting January 1st, we're going to share them with the country. So hopefully you'll see perhaps hundreds and hundreds of stories that define Canada with using Canadians. Um, you can check out actually on our website right now, you saw a little bit of some of the stories we've already collected. We've got a lot of good stories already, uh, CBC News, dot ca slash what's your story ah there we go just check there there's <laughs> lots of entertaining stuff to see but i don't want to leave natasha before i say to you what's your story i have countless canadian stories but i think my story is actually the story of my sister my sister and i came to canada along with our parents as immigrants to this country english is not our first language we've got a weird last name we don't practice the dominant religion and my sister also has autism and when we came to canada at that time people told us she'll never go to school, she'll always be a burden. But this country, the openness and generosity of this society has allowed my sister to finish high school, to get full-time employment. She is a partner in a co-op for young adults with disabilities, and I'm sure that that could only happen in a country as kind and generous as Canada. So uh, I'm a, a, a <laughs> passionate patriot of this country, and I, I never make any bones about it. I, I adore this country. I've lived in four other countries, when people say this is the best place in the world, they're not lying. Sure, there's room for improvement, but for me, I and my family owe a lot to this country, so we're very grateful to be here. Natasha, that is a fantastic story, <laughs> and you'd better write it down because okay. I want to include that next year. That is, that is amazing. That is perfect. I promise I will. Let's get that board up again just so people can see um, what, where they can send this story. What's your story? cbcnews.ca slash what's your story. That's where you can see the stuff we've already got. got and then that CBC News, sorry about the small writing, CBC News 2017 at cbc.ca. That's where I'd like to see lots and lots of material come to us. It doesn't need to be today, but over the next few months, um, yeah. we're really, really hoping to collect a lot of stories from all ages, all backgrounds. Yep. Diversity, of course, is key. Diversity is our strength. Uh, yes. We already have someone, actually a number of people saying that to us, so we want to make sure we get that covered. This is the public broadcaster, folks. You can get your voice out there. Be part of the national narrative. Let us be the platform you can share your story. Brenda, thank you so much for Natasha, coming in. Natasha, thank you. You're welcome.